Blessings, beloved. Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but through him. At this time, I'm living in a tent. I'm uh, adjusting to living in a tent, the routine, etc., all of that. But um, the most important thing is that we find time to praise the Lord and to pray for others in the body. Um, from, time to, from time to time, as Christians, we fast, we go without food. Um, it's good for the body. And um, I have a like a, a sensitive gut as well, so it helps me a lot if things get a little bit out of control um, to rein them back in. Really, it's for uh, to get closer to the Lord Jesus. Because when we deny the flesh, our spirit and spiritual things are highlighted so that we don't really need to um, think too much about um, physical things. Sorry, the broadcast was interrupted there. I see that happening quite a bit lately. This phone seems to be a bit glitchy. It's an Android one. Um, I haven't really had those problems with iPhone. Before when I had iPhone, it there tends to be more disruption on the Android um, or um, networking system rather. So um, I'll see how that goes. But um, I wonder if it's the phone. I don't think it's the phone. The phone is brand new. It shouldn't be the phone. Um, the connection seems fine. So you'd wonder why when you're broadcasting and you... Again, same thing happened. I wonder why when you get to certain topics in your broadcast, does the, it say poor wireless connection? Poor wireless connection doesn't really make sense because that's talking about the Wi-Fi. Whereas, wouldn't it, like, wouldn't it be the network that would inter interrupt? Like if the Wi-Fi connection was good at the start of the video, why would that suddenly become a problem you're in the when you're in the same location? So isn't it incorrect? problem or a wireless connection that doesn't make sense whereas if it was a network issue it should say network issue or um, temporary um, depletion of connectivity or whatever whatever way you want so it's the same thing again it's just saying poor wireless connection and it says your your video has been paused so um, yeah, so I'm doing well in the in the tent. The tent, um, nothing's really changed. Only there's a bit of a walk from the town to the, to the tent. Currently, don't have ideal footwear. Those are a little bit big for me. Uh, usually, I can afford better footwear, um, and I go for the barefoot shoes, which are tight fitting. Whereas I have the Crocs now, and they're loose fitting, so my foot is kind of sliding in them, which is leading to blisters. So that's not pleasant. But uh, that's they're, they're the really only problems. The intercostal muscle. Sorry about the pause again. The intercostal muscle strain is obviously um, a bit of a hindrance, especially getting up and in and out of a tent. But I mean that might be good for it as it's healing, you know, to strengthen it. So time will tell. Um, I've got a bag with me here. I carry a bigger bag and a smaller bag, and that's pretty much all, all my stuff is in there, in two bags. Um, and I'm, I'm looking again to reduce the size of the second bag so that I think I, I'm more mobile. I wonder if in the future I could just have a sleeping bag and a yoga mat and not need the tent because the sleeping bag is so good. And maybe, no wonder then in um, the winter then just to have a big jacket. Um, just have a big jacket in the winter time then. So that yeah, I don't need I don't need a room all throughout the year, and I'd be more mobile then. So see how things pan out. I'm still looking for work in Wexford at the moment, but um, things might change. Uh, in my case, it's yet to be seen how the government intends to vindicate my name or compensate the the harm they've done to my life uh, over the course of the three years. That's not been made clear. My current council if you can call them that, haven't really made anything clear to me. And they have, they've, sorry about that again, the video keeps getting interrupted. They failed to contact me, so 
uh, up until this point, and now suddenly they, they won't have any further communications unless it's in person, when even the court case wasn't in person and I wasn't even allowed to see what was going on there. And they haven't communicated to me in person for years, and now suddenly they won't communicate with me again until it's in person. Given them um, access to a statement of means so that they can get paid. I mean, it's very unusual behavior. Um, so we see that what they're doing is unlawful from start to finish. I mean, the High Court isn't even looking at the schedule that it was supposed to look at. Yet they're saying that I'm free to go and, claim, and claiming that it's still an open question as to whether the um, court case or the legislations 115 and 117 are actually constitutional or not. So all we can do is um, pray for these people. They're clearly uh, demonized because they're bringing things into the high court and failing to even address what's the most clearly Satan's spirits are operating there. And we just have to pray for them and continue to expose what they're doing and their antics and their failure to actually fulfill their office. So, I mean, if somebody doesn't do a job properly, do you pay them to do the job and encourage them to continue failing to do the answer is no, that wouldn't be good practice. And I mean, if the government are, being, are paying the High Court to fail to fulfill their schedule and run away from it um, and not vindicate the life of people, well, then that, there, are big, there are bigger implications in that. And may, perhaps a judicial review at a higher court level would be um, more pressing if the High Court are even now failing to do the, fulfill their schedule. Um, those who are claiming to be my counsel haven't operated or functioned as that and they haven't fulfilled that office at all. Um, I mean, to just show up a court, to, to say you're going to bring things before the High Court and fail to do them, and then fail to bring and uh, press the judge on what was even scheduled and, and accepted as needing to be tested by the High Court, and then the High Court fails to do the same, saying it remains an open question, and failing to even attempt to vindicate the life of the person that, whose convictions they've quashed, shows that there's no genuine um, interest um, or action in the way of preserving my rights and uh, welfare and that of the Irish public. So the fact that a matter of uh, great public interest has been ignored and hasn't been publicised is also another reason for people to um, realise that our, gov our government are being run by demonically influenced witches and wizards and that has infiltrated the High Court um, and we can see that they're failing in their office and so we need to pray for them so that they would actually fulfill the office that is constitutionally required of them and the directives therewith in terms of uh, maintaining the, in terms of maintaining the welfare of the person and um, the constitution of the land which in turn um, maintains morality and true social order so what we're seeing now is corruption to a great for me to then go on and fail to uh, raise the alarm that um, injustice is being done, that criminal activity is taking place in the High Court. You might say it's not taking place, but I say failure to test the schedule and to motion to do so, failure to vindicate the life and rights of a person or to motion, yet still expect payment is um, criminal activity and I can't aid in the better. So I'll have nothing to do with uh, the payment of people who have not ensured that I have even received um, back uh, surety to my name. They haven't even uh, ensured that or gone about making uh, movements towards ensuring that. So they've done very little in the way of anything that is in my interest. They have only avoided pressing on matters that they can't, they simply cannot lawfully be seen to pursue. So what they're doing now is they're maneuvering, they're doing footwork. Uh, and tying people up in administration so they can continue to ignore the most pressing issues at hand. The testing of 114, 115, 113. Again, the most pressing issues, testing of 113, 114, 115 and 117 of the Criminal Justice Act 2006 and the testing of the wording specifically insulting um, of the Section 7 of the Criminal Justice Public Order Act 1994. Both of these have been neglected and these are these legislations that my mistreatment hinged upon. So it be a failing of the High Court and not um, thorough. And they haven't done that. They've ran from doing that. So if the schedule um, is then neglected in the conclusion, 
the court has failed and they've made no action or motion towards simply bringing that about in the future and and they've indicated indicated nothing to me vindicated my name in no way but um, compensated me for the damages done uh, financial and otherwise they've made no effort to do what is their office and fulfill it because the only ra reason we can actually think that they would do such a thing is because they're demonized and witches and wizards have been told that they can't be members of secret societies and hold office in government so it's clear that they're when the actions of a person are not logical or in keeping with um, what is basically reasonable in society and what is outlined as lawful in the wording of the Constitution. It must be demonic if what's being promoted is um, against true social order and the welfare of the individual. There's no, there's no other explanation for it. So we as Christians, we, we're supposed to have nothing to do with the unfruitful works of darkness. So paying a painter that fails to paint the wall is encouraging him in evil. The Bible says, obey the authorities in the Lord. Obey your mother and father in the Lord. Therefore, obey the authorities in the Lord. If what the authorities are doing or asking you to do is a criminal activity, then you mustn't do it. And to pay somebody to engage in criminal activity is the same as aiding and abetting them in doing it. So we must, we must rather expose that behavior. Blessings in Jesus' name. Let it come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ the righteous. He is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Amen. So if you want to be saved today, the Bible says in Romans 10, 9, it says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart. Again, it says in Romans 10, 9, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with the heart that one believes and is justified, and it is with the mouth that one confesses and is saved blessings so stay joyful no matter what adversity you're going through you know especially when a Christian's going through a fast or that the demonic attack will increase because they know you're going through some sorts of uh, physiological withdrawal symptoms from withdrawal symptoms from salt fat uh, the carcinog carcinogens from cooking your food um, sugar whatever it is in your diet you're withdrawing from food and um, there are certain comforts we get from food so the flesh might be complaining and they're going to lean on that you see so that's how this evil spirits work. They will uh, try to exploit any 